In this video, we will learn delivery cycle time, throughput time, process time, inspection time, move time, queue time, value added time, no value added time, manufacturing cycle efficiency. One interesting thing, I am sharing you. These topics had tested in my exam. Unfortunately, none of my friends had passed expect me. Nobody had explained well these topics online. Today, your few minutes concentration may play an important role in your exam. Let me explain each term one by one. Delivery cycle time. The amount of time from when a customer order is received to when the completed order is shipped is called delivery cycle time. This time is clearly a key concern to many customers, who would like the delivery cycle time to be as short as possible. Cutting the delivery cycle who would like the delivery cycle time to be short as possible. Throughput time is also called manufacturing cycle time. The amount of time required to turn raw material into completed products is called throughput time or manufacturing cycle time. Here a question comes to our mind, what is the relation between the delivery cycle time and the throughput time? Throughput time is equal to process time, inspection time, move time, and queue time. Let me explain you, what is process time, inspection time, move time, and queue time. Process time is the amount of time work is actually done on the product. Inspection time is the amount of time spent on ensuring the product is not defective. Move time is the time required to move material or partially completed products from workstation to workstation. Queue time is the amount of time a product spends waiting to be moved to inspection or to be shipped. Let me explain value added time and non value added time. Value added time is the processes and activities in the production or manufacturing process that improve the product or add usefulness to it. Non value added time or activity in a production or manufacturing process is any time spent on a step in that process that adds nothing to the finished product. Only one of these four activities adds value to the product. Process time is the value added activity of the product. The other three activities inspection, moving, and queuing added no value and should be eliminated as much as possible. We will calculate manufacturing cycle efficiency by divide value added time to throughput time. If manufacturing cycle efficiency is less than 0.1, which mean 90% of the time a unit is in the process is spent on activities that do not add value to the product. Monitoring the manufacturing cycle efficiency helps companies to reduce non-value added activities and thus get the product into the hand of customers more quickly and at a lower cost. Here is our previous discussion formulas. Throughput time is equal to process time, inspection time, move time, and queue time. Delivery cycle time is equal wait time plus throughput time. Manufacturing cycle efficiency is equal value added time over throughput time. Let me explain this concept with the help of an example. Let's say, a company have the following average time were recorded for each unit. Process time 2 days, inspection time 0.4 days, move time 0.6 days, Queue time 5 days and wait time 17 days. Calculate throughput time, delivery cycle time, manufacturing cycle efficiency and non-value added time. First, we will calculate throughput time. Throughput time is equal to process time plus, inspection time plus, move time plus, queue time. We will add process time 2 days, inspection time 0.4 days, move time 0.6 days, queue time 5 days and get 8 days throughput time. Now we will find delivery cycle time. We know that delivery cycle time is equal wait time plus throughput time. So we will add wait time 17 days with 8 days throughput time. We get 25 days delivery cycle time. Now we will calculate manufacturing cycle efficiency. Manufacturing cycle efficiency is equal value added time over throughput time. Here only process time is value added time in this example. So, we will divide process time 2 days to 8 days throughput time. 
we get 0.25 manufacturing cycle efficiency. Non-value added time calculation we will subtract the manufacturing cycle efficiency answer 25% from 100%. We get 75% non-value added time. I hope, you understand every concept. Kindly like this video and share with your friends.